for good reasons, then we should interpret the advice of the oracle collectively. What kind of creatures are we? What are the species properties that are common to humans apart from severe pathology and are without significant analog in the living world, even among our closest relatives, the higher apes? What are the properties that paleoanthropologists call the human capacity? When we inquire into this question, I think we find two striking properties that satisfy this austere criterion. One is language, the other is thought, at least thought in any form in which we can grasp and study. It's language and thought that enable humans to issue the proclamation of the oracle, to reflect on its meaning, to seek to find answers to the questions it awakens in our minds. And the same is true of the most mundane experiences of ordinary life, all common to humans and in critical ways distinctive to the human species. Well, if inquiry reveals two distinct properties that virtually define the species. The next question is, what relation holds between them? The simplest answer would be the relation of identity. Language is a system for generating thought, and thought is what is generated by language. 